Hey, that's me right there, staring out into the sea on a beach in Portugal, having many epiphanies about how wonderful and exciting life is after months of feeling so scared and hopeless about the future and getting older. You're probably wondering how I got to this point, right? Why don't you stick around and find out? Let's rewind to a couple of days ago. Hello from Porto. I look sick. Let me go somewhere else. Also, the whole street can probably see me, so let me turn down the blinds. As you can tell from the intro and the title, I am in Porto, in Portugal. This is my birthday weekend. My birthday's on Saturday tomorrow. Last year, I had a good birthday, but it was my first birthday at home in a long time, and I realized it, the vibe wasn't there. The vibe, the vibe was not right. So I always knew I wanted to go away. This time last year, um, with the pandemic, I had no idea if that would be abroad or in the UK. A year later, I've had all my vaccines, everything's basically back to normal, kind of, not really, but kind of. So I decided I may as well just go abroad. It's my first time abroad in over two years, which breaks my heart because Traveling is one of my biggest personality traits, or was before the pandemic. I really want to go into reading this summer. If I didn't go abroad now, it would be three years since I've been abroad. For my inter trip, it's going to be three weeks. So going from three years on the travel to then do a three week trip would be way too stressful. So I wanted to make sure that I was really accustomed to traveling before I took on such a big trip. If I do go, which I hope you will. I am here alone, which Honestly, so many people are horrified. My grandmother was horrified. Obviously, like, it's my birthday. People would think, oh, you know, they want to spend your birthday with people. And also, like, in general, like, traveling on her own is, like, scary and stuff. But, like, it's 2022. Girls can travel on their own. I've traveled on my own before, and it's absolutely fine as long as you're safe. I mean, I'm from London, so, like, I think when you're, like, when you live in a city like London, you grow up with street smarts. Like, London's quite dangerous, I feel like. And if I can survive London, I can survive Porto, I can survive like other cities, right? I hope. I really hope no one can hear me. Imagine if someone's like next door and can hear me talking to myself. That's so bad. I was originally going to ask people, like, not like directly, but I was going to like put on my Instagram stories, like, hey, I'm going to Porto for my birthday. If anyone wants to come, come along. But I've been quite vocal about this, but my mental health over the past couple of months has not been good at all. And I've actually like, deleted social media. Also, I have been going through a quarter life crisis. Tomorrow I'm turning 24 and I am freaking out. I'm gonna officially be in my mid 20s. I don't see myself as an adult. I still refer to myself as a girl. Like when I talk about myself, I don't see myself as a woman. It's really scary. I needed to do the trip on my own. Whenever I travel, I always come back feeling so good. So I'm really hoping I come back from this feeling better. I've just been dreaming really crap about life and stuff. And I'm really hoping that like this trip inspires me and I get my spark back. I am really hoping that my mental health doesn't ruin this trip and I'm able to enjoy it. And like something in me like awakens, something in me that I've not seen in a while. But yeah, I'm in Porto, I'm in Portugal. I'm really excited. It's gonna be a great weekend, We've got so much planned. I should give you a quick tour of the Airbnb. The Airbnb lady, and well, the husband let me in, but like, the both so nice. Like, I'm gonna link this Airbnb below. If anyone comes to Porto, please come here. So this is the entrance, and then this is a little like kitchenette area. A little table thing here, two chairs, tiny little kitchen thing, which I will not be using because I'm eating out. I'm treating myself. Can I afford it? No. Do I only have 40 pounds in my account right now? Yes, but that doesn't matter because it's my birthday. Um, I'm in the toilet now. Uh, this cute little painting, shower. This is me, hello. This is my ridiculous outfit. You can see I look so silly. Uh, sink. Got these two chairs and these are the 
paintings or art pieces are really nice really pretty i like this one this is really nice and then my room so i've got two beds even though i'm only gonna be using one of them because i'm here on my own nice little oh this is actually really cool it's like a bunch of houses or something i don't know that looks really cool though fake plant and a light wardrobe which i'll not be using because i'm not unpacking my clothes why would i do that I'm only gonna be here for two days. TV, another painting, and my view, which is not that nice. Maybe it's because it's raining. Oh yeah, I forgot to say. The reason why I picked Porto, I'm actually so upset. I feel so personally victimized. I picked Porto, because obviously Portugal, sunshine, heat. Tell me why it's raining all weekend. Tell me why it's 11 degrees right now and raining and grey all weekend and the thing is as well the UK right now the weather's so nice so um yeah I do take that personally I had a whole vision plan I had my whole like summer outfit planned if you watched my I hit my body video I was gonna wear the outfit tomorrow for my birthday the red dress and the white top underneath I was gonna go to the beach and read I mean, it's still a very pretty city from what I've seen so far. My plan for today was to go to the bridge. I was going to go across the bridge to, I don't know if it's another town or what it is, but basically there's a nice little viewpoint and I can see the whole of Porto from there. So I was going to go there and watch the sunset and also go to McDonald's as well. I'm scared to leave. I don't know I'm scared, but yeah. So I'm going to do that. Um... But it's raining. I don't know what to do with myself. This is so weird. to vlog properly outside and also it was raining i got stressed i couldn't find mcdonald's because it was in a like a shopping center but i couldn't find where in the shopping center it was i mean i didn't really look properly i could have gone up or down the levels but i didn't bother because i was getting nervous but i did buy some of these oh. i don't know how much footage i got outside i also don't know what i'm gonna have for dinner so that's not good i'm just gonna get something for uber eats i think because I'm not going back outside, the rain was so annoying. But I'm so hungry. Also, I want to show you something really cool. So, the Porto is known for their port, which is like wine. And my Airbnb people were nice enough to leave me a little thing here. So, I'm going to pour myself a glass. Good way to spend my last I've been 23. I don't actually like red wine, so I don't know if I'm gonna like this, but you know, it's free, it's a gift. So cheers. <gasps> That's nice. Why am I surprised? I don't like red wine. That's just so good though. My wine has to be really, really sweet and stuff for me to like it. That is delicious. It's a good thing I don't have a bottle because I would be very drunk by this evening and I don't want to get drunk today. Maybe tomorrow. Mm. It has to be in 23. What can I do? Just 
happened but i just suddenly got really 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 anxious again to be fair i went back on my instagram for the first time in like six weeks so maybe that was why <laughs> to be fair but also i just felt like really like lonely and like stressed about what i'm doing on this trip but i just suddenly got really really anxious and it was horrible could be because i'm turning 24 tomorrow i normally get like pre-birthday anxiety does anyone else get that? But also at the same time, it doesn't even feel like my birthday. Like in this random room on my own. I don't know. I'm gonna watch a movie and then I think I'm gonna go to bed early, honestly. I survive for tonight and then wake up and be 24. That's so strange. Being 23 was a bit weird because of the pandemic. You know what's weird? The two years I spent in the pandemic was 22 and 23. Those were two ages I was really excited to be. Both of those ages sucked. I wanna watch this really good film called Summer of Eight. It's about these eight kids, they're all best friends. It's the last day of summer before they all go off to college. I feel like that's the perfect thing for me to watch right now because it's like, you know, the last day before entering a new stage of our life, which is what I'm going through right now. But yeah, good night. I'm ready. Ready to get out of here. Ready for tomorrow. Guys, it's sunny. I'm so happy. Oh my god. It's actually sunny. Oh my god, I'm so gassed. Happy birthday to me. sunny all day and possibly tomorrow as well so no more rain i'm 24 do i look 24 no i don't look 24 i literally look like it's my first day in year 10 it's giving juice sissies it's giving planning for my sweet 16. everyone says i'll appreciate it when i'm 30 40 or whatever. i'll have to update you when i'm those ages to let you know how i feel about looking 10 years younger than i actually am i'm going to stay in the city center today Walk around to find something to eat. I need to find somewhere that sells cake as well as the Francesino. Frank, Frank, Francesino. Basically, it's like this Portuguese sandwich thing, but like there's cheese on top of the sandwich. It looks really cool. It's traditionally meat, but I'm vegetarian, so I have to find a vegetarian one. Bonus also sells wine, especially if they have wine, like the wine they have steak, that was so delicious. <laughs> This is my OOTD cropped black jumper and I've got literally my favourite trousers ever. They're like my Mamma Mia, Donna Sheridan in the sequel trousers. Wearing Chanel number 5 sample, thanks mum. Now that I'm in my mid-twenties and also with me having a two month break from Instagram. I had an epiphany while I was doing my makeup. But maybe I'm in my Alexa Demi era. From now on I'm gonna just be mysterious, hard to reach and hot, right? I feel like that's my new era. I'm really hungry, oh my god, I'm so hungry. Tastes a bit vinegary now, because this has been out for a while. Still good though, still gonna die.
probably the fanciest McDonald's I've ever been to and will ever go to in my entire life. They had no burgers, which was annoying, but I got pancakes, which is what I was going to get originally at the other place. I was not waiting in that line though. It was ridiculous. Mm. That sauce is so nice. I brought this book with me thinking that I wasn't going to have time to read it. But as it happens, my devices need charging. So I'm going to read this. I'm going to finish this. Hopefully by the time I'm done, my phone will be charged and I'll be able to go out properly and explore finally. Okay, it's like half past three. I'm not gonna lie, I am tired. Is this what being in your mid twenties is like? Being exhausted? I'm joking, I'm always exhausted. I could go for a nap right now and it would be a very long, nice nap. However, I'm only in Porto for like, just over 24 hours, so I have to go out and explore. Still not 100% sure what I'm eating. There's one place I'm thinking I might go, but it closes at seven. But yeah, let's go and explore, finally. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Son como las dos de la mañana y no sé qué hacer. Recuerdo el sabor que dejaban tus labios. Eran dulcito como la miel y al despertar siempre te vas. Eres fugaz ya me acostumbré. Buscando respuestas que ya las sé Es mejor que no vuelva aunque mi corazón te prefiere Vivo ahogando mi pena en los labios de otras mujeres Si mañana pasa por tu mente llamarme es obvio No voy a contestar, yo sé que eso está mal Y me cuesta aceptarlo pero lastimas Me lastimas I'd hang on my friends and it was great We'd go out but not that late And I really love and never wanna change But sometimes I can't help but think Am I missing out something I don't have Cause I don't wanna give up being good to be bad I just want some insight on the life of the average teenage dog One who looks like on the outside but she just has it on
wanna complain I'm just a little curious Cause I see the picture, see the post Reckless me, not even close Cause why would I be something that I'm not? I should be happy with the friends I've got But these thoughts don't come to mind And I can't help but wonder sometimes Am I missing on something? I've literally just spent like an hour searching for food. There was this one place called Santa Francesina. I really hope I'm saying that right. I'm gonna just go with that. Francesina. The sandwich thing I was talking about before. And they had like a vegan one with vegan stuff. I never know if like what they use to replace the non-vegan ingredients is nuts. And it says something about a vegan sauce and a lot of the time that will include like cashews and stuff and I have a nut allergy and I don't want to risk it. I found this other place, hopefully it's fine. The other reason why I wanted to get food from Santa Francesina was because they have cake. I want cake because obviously it's my birthday but this place that I ended up getting food from didn't sell cake or any desserts. After my food comes I'm going to just order from somewhere else, just get some dessert. Food has arrived. I don't know what this is. I think some sort of sauce. And chips. I don't have any cutlery, so I don't know how this is gonna work. There's so much cheese. Mmm. That's so good. Last but not least, we have cake. Oreo. Mmm. Oh, that's be nice. Next, we have red velvet. Mmm. Happy birthday to me. This is a really random update. Let me first stop by saying I'm an idiot. When I was planning this trip a few weeks ago, I spontaneously booked a ticket to a pub crawl. The main reason I did this was because of the whole quarter life crisis situation, you know, feeling like I haven't done enough in my life. So I thought, oh, you know, maybe I should go out tonight for my birthday. I've had a perfectly good day and I could just get undressed and go to bed. But I think I'm gonna go because I wasn't sure if I was gonna go or not, right? Pros, fun night out, drinking, making friends, clubbing, partying, cons, drinking alone in a city I'm not from. Because of the drinking, I could get lost, I could get taken advantage of, I could end up losing my phone or my keys. I'm on my own, so like it's not like I'm at a hostel. No one could be there and it'll be really boring and awkward. Even if it goes well, even if I have the best night ever, I need to leave her by 10. I'll probably be here over. I'm tired. I'll probably end up going home at like three. Oh my god, what am I doing? Like my head is telling me not to go because it's not a sensible decision, but my heart is telling me to go. And also the inner quarter life crisis situation is telling me to go as well. I still have my makeup on. Probably just wear this and then change to a skirt. The Uber is literally three euros. If I got ready, i will take about max ten minutes to get ready, and I'd get there for like what ten twenty five. If it looks like dodgy, or like no one's there, or like at any point during this thing i'm like mm, maybe i shouldn't go maybe it's dead i don't feel safe whatever i'm too drunk whatever i can literally leave am i stupid yeah i'm stupid am i stupid am i dumb or am i a victim of a really strict upbringing mixed with the fact that i was also the good child and the clever child so on top of having a strict upbringing i had to be extra good to uphold the good golden smart persona mixed in with the fact that when i went to uni i made a bunch of friends who had conversely lived this wild exciting crazy adolescence no skins vibes which made me feel really insecure about my lack of experience plus mixing in with the fact that i have lived for two years in a pandemic in my early 20s so all the experiences that i felt insecure about not living that i would have made up for in those years i've not been able to because of the pandemic and now i'm in a quarter crisis i am not going to be filming if I do film, it's gonna be on my phone. But even then, I'm not gonna film much at all. If you're watching this vlog, assume that 
everything will dwell. I'm safe. I'm alive. Fuck. Should I do this? I should do this. I'm, I'm not backing out. I already spent the money on it. I may as well just go and have a time. Wish me luck. Let's pray that tonight is actually worth it. See you on the other side. <laughs> to let you know that I am alive home safely morning everyone I'm gonna give you a very quick update because I actually have to leave like really soon last night was really fun I would say it was worth it not scary at all if you make friends then you'll feel so much safer it's like something's ten right now I'm trying to rush to finish like packing up all my stuff so I can go to that brunch place and just put this up somehow drunk Taja is organized so I don't have anything to do I just need to pack a few more things and I'm done time to go <laughs> I'm at the beach right now. Just been thinking about the past few days and the past few months and also the future. I came here hoping to find inspiration and my spark that's been gone within me for a really long time. I hope to find it here because travel always inspires me and this trip definitely has inspired me in every way. Like, I've not been feeling creatively motivated to edit videos but I'm so excited to edit this video. I feel so inspired to create good and beautiful content again. Recently I've been watching my old vlogs and feeling sad that I'm not as creative and inspired by the world around me like I was back in 2019 and 2020 but I'm hoping to change that. I know that in order to create beautiful things whether that's YouTube videos or even memories and experiences 
I have to create a beautiful life for myself and for the first time in ages I feel like I'm ready to fight for that life. Life's been feeling really dark and difficult and hopeless for a really long time for me and my mental health and worries about the future and getting older has only increased those feelings but being here is reminding me that life is kind of beautiful. <laughs> like I'm literally on a beach in Portugal right now. I deserve to experience so many more days like today and yesterday and the day before and this trip has reminded me that I want those experiences and even if I have to take baby steps I will bit by bit keep working towards my dream life where I'm free and happy. I thrive on the security of having a plan even when life is hard I always have these big goals no matter how far-fetched it seems because having a plan helps me cope with the present when the present is tough so it feels like there's a chance for me to have a happy future. Right now though I don't really have a solid future plan and that terrifies me especially now as I'm in my mid-twenties and I'm meant to know what the fuck I'm doing with my life but I need to remember that everything will fall into place and everything's gonna be okay and it's okay to go with the flow if what I do with my life next is meant to be and it's the right thing for me it will work out and if it's not meant to be I'll just be redirected to the right path you can't control anything in life all you can do is take whatever is in front of you at face value and just try your best to get through it and that's what I'm gonna do. I have to go back, don't I? <laughs> I don't wanna go back home. I don't wanna go back to all the bullshit and all the things that make me sad. But at least I'm feeling a bit more inspired and motivated to deal with those obstacles. So that's what I'm gonna do. Because it's not too late for me to be happy and experience the things I want to experience and achieve the things I want to achieve. It's only the beginning. Maybe I'll be better with type of insanity you know that's that shit i don't need sometimes i feel like